Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another plan with me video. Um, I'm super excited for this month's theme. It is going to be a daisy theme. I was inspired by some other people's um, bullet journal videos that I've seen from previous months and um, I was actually deciding between daisies or sunflowers and I ended up choosing the daisies because I thought they would maybe not take as much effort or as much work I guess. Um, this is pretty simple. I just you know outlined everything in pencil first and then went in with a black super tip marker and um, outlined everything and then um, I go in later with the orange and yellow super tip markers. Um, this theme actually didn't take me too long to make like my last theme didn't take me terribly long but it was a little bit longer than this one just because of all the feathers um, and coloring all those in. So in terms of time, this one didn't take a lot of time. However, it did take a lot of prep time, significantly more than the last one, just because I had to go in and draw out all the flowers ahead of time. Um, but I did really love this theme. And again, as I did in my last month's um, spreads, I did not include the month like as a title on this page. It is simply just a fun like cover page that I did. Um, and you'll see why again later, but if you want to go back and watch my last month's video where I um, did this sort of layout, I will link it in the cards and down below as well. Okay, jumping back into the voiceover, I thought you guys would enjoy hearing my actual reactions to my own mistakes because I feel like sometimes when people watch these videos, they assume nobody makes mistakes, but I make mistakes all the time. You know, I just kind of go with the flow. Um, so now I'm moving on to my, um, like, well, I guess you would call it a month at a glance page. Um, again, like last month, I did not do boxes where you could write in them. I simply just made a calendar so I could visually see the days of the week throughout the month um, because I do use a different planner like an actual planner for my school stuff um, where I actually you know write in the boxes so I don't need to do that here um, so I just do like a simple calendar and I actually really liked how this worked out um, last month so I continued it again and um, I'm also continuing with the daisy theme by surrounding the whole box um, with daisies. So now moving on to the page that kind of goes with my month at a glance. I'm not even really sure what I would call this, um, but yeah, it kind of just goes along with my month at a glance. So this has my to-do list for the month where I could put like appointments or just things that I need to get done this month and then a goal section and a bucket list section. Let me tell you guys, the bucket list, the bucket list section was great for me last month. I feel like I get so busy with work and with school and everything and when I have free time I'm just like brain dead and I just literally want to lay in bed and watch TV and I think there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I don't ever really make a lot of time to go out and do fun things so um, I use this bucket list this month as a way to try to get myself to go out and do things that I want to do. So I did that and it was great. Um, I wanted to go see Black Panther and go out with my friends and like stuff like that and I did all those things on my bucket list so definitely if you're like me and you're really busy and you don't make a lot of time for a social life try the bucket list out and see if that works for you I really liked doing that um, and I also tried to mix it up with the fonts this month like on this page and I really liked how it turned out I'm not really good at fonts but I tried it for the be like the best of my abilities and I think it turned out really cool looking and then up at the top, I'm including a quote, um, Daniel Bryan returned to the WWE this week and um, in his little speech that he did, well, he got cleared to return to the ring. 
um, I should say. And he said, fight for your dreams because if you fight for your dreams, they will fight for you. I thought that was really inspirational. I'm not even sure if he's the one who said it or if Bree said it because the way he made it sound was that Bree said it to him. But I just quoted it from him. As you can also see, I made another mistake. I didn't leave enough room for all the writing, but I'm just going with the flow, like I said, and it looks fine enough to me. Um, I just wish I would have started maybe up higher on the page. Um, but yeah, so now moving on into my budget. Um, this is the exact same budget spread that I used last month, which if you watched my previous videos, you saw that last month was a big switch for me and pretty much all my spreads, but specifically this budget spread was completely changed up. And I love this spread so much better than my previous ones because it's a lot more simple and clean looking. Um, and yeah, so I really like it. It's simple. You just fill in all the numbers and it's just really self-explanatory. Um, I will try to link the video that I found this spread in. It's like a 17 magazine bullet journal video. Um, I do follow their playlist and the girl who did those videos did this budget spread and I really liked it. So that's what I'm using. And again, I'm adding in those daisies and yeah. So on to my next page. This is an exam planner because I'm in college and my exams will be coming up at the end of April, beginning of May. So I wanted to include this spread in this month. Um, basically, I just made a section for each class and underneath each section, I will write um, what I need to do to prepare for that test or if it's like a paper that you have to turn in as your final, like with like a plan for getting the paper done. I don't personally have that. All of mine are tests, but basically like writing out what days I want to study and how far out I want to study. And then next to each um, class name, I'll write like the date of the test. Um, so yeah, super simple and you can customize it however you want and use it however you'd like. Um, and now moving on to one of my favorite spreads to do, the weekly spread. Um, as you saw last month, it was completely switched up to switched up from what I had previously been doing. I cannot talk today. Um, but yeah, so it's completely switched up and I really, really liked it. So basically just going in, I already went ahead and outlined everything in pencil. If you guys would like, I can leave the dimensions in the description box for each of these boxes. Just let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and do that. Um, but basically you do three boxes on each side of the page and then your Sunday box would be down below on of your oh my gosh it would be below your Saturday box wow um so yeah it seems really complicated and intricate but it's actually not and it's pretty easy and fast to set up you just you know go through and do all those lines and then it's really easy to just fill everything in from there And now for the overview of the whole month, here is my cover page. Again, I did not include the month on this. It's simply just my fun design page um, to start off the month. And then I have my month at a glance here with the daisies surrounding it. And again, I love it. And you can still see that mistake that I made 
well, not even mistake that I made that my ruler had that like other color stuff on it, but it's not too bad. And then my goals and bucket list and to-do list over there, I just really love this layout for starting your month. I feel like it's great to go ahead and plan kind of the things that you want to do for the month and things that you need to get done. Um, so you can kind of carry that throughout the rest of your month and the rest of your planning for the month. So yeah. Moving on to my budget spread. Again, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just track your paychecks, add that all up, then um, track your bills. So things that are fixed um, amounts coming out of your account every month and then add that up and then add up your variable expenses. You would kind of make like an actual versus predicted um, there. And then at the very end of the month, you would take your income, subtract your bills and your variable expenses. And then that leftover amount would be put into towards your savings. And then I have my exam planner on the other side. Like I said, it's just simple headers for each class and then underneath you can put whatever you need to get done for that class. So you could even include like the last bit of assignments that you have so you can check those off and make sure that you get those done um, however you'd like to use them. And then again, like I said, I would include your final exam day and time next to each class. This way it's right there so you can see it um, and know when your exams are. And finally, moving into the weekly spread, um, I just have that huge box for to, a to-do list for each day right there, and that's really great for me because I always have like a huge to-do list. And then that first set of boxes I use for my class schedule, so what classes I have for the day, and the second set of boxes I have is for my work schedule. So as you can see, on Saturday and Sunday, there's no box for school, only a box for my work schedule because obviously you don't have classes on Saturday and Sunday. And then I have a goals and a to-do section for each week as well. And as you can see, I have a habit tracker. Um, I actually used this habit tracker every single week. And I think it was because it was on the weekly spread because I use my weekly spreads daily. I do not, however, go back to a monthly spread every single day and look at it. So having the habit tracker in my weekly layouts worked really well for me like I actually used them and I actually really did help me realize the things that I need to work on um, so yeah I did add a couple from last month so I added water before bed and reading um, the doctor told me I needed to be drinking more water before bed so I'm trying to do that and then I'm tracking my water and my steps and then I added another one of these trackers to track my sleep I do have a specific process for going through and filling out my weekly spreads every single week. So if you guys would like to see videos of that, definitely let me know down below in the comment section and I can totally do that for you and even go through my whole monthly setup when I go and fill everything in. Um, but that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another plan with me. Also, check out the description box down below because I am going to be making an Instagram account for just my bullet journal pictures and stuff like that and maybe even featuring your guys' um, recreations if you decide to recreate my spreads. Um, so definitely check that out down below. And yeah, that is it for this video. If you guys want any other videos, leave comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.